Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Yet again, I have made the largest episode of the Market Watch that I have yet to make. I know I say that every week now, but more and more cards just keep spiking all across the board. We're going to talk about hundreds of cards today, and we're going to go as quickly as possible through them. So that does lead us to the question you see on the screen. Did the Double Masters announcement slow down price spikes at all? Maybe a little bit. The cards that they did announce that are going to be reprinted in that set so far, they have slowed down. Some of them are still climbing a little bit if you go week to week, but for the most part, a lot of them have lost value. We're not going to talk about all of them in the video, but we know Mana Crypt's going to be in the set. Kalia of the Vast, Attracts is going to be their doubling season, Blightsteel Colossus. Some of these you'll see in different slides, but for the most part, just know, I do think in the coming weeks, a lot of those cards will start to lose value, lose some momentum. But it doesn't mean other cards are not spiking. You're going to see a lot of stuff happening this week. Quickly, though, before we get into it, just a fast reminder. If you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. They've now removed their delayed shipping notice on their website. So if you're looking to pick up Ikoria or anything, really, and want to support the channel at the same time, it's a great way to do it while you save some money. It's always appreciated. But without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start off with standard as we always do in the top six standard legal cards that have lost value this week. For the most part, what we're going to see here are cards from the new set, Ikoria, that are losing value as they're trying to find their price point, but many of them are seeing a fair amount of play. Number six is Narset of the Ancient Way. It goes down 65 cents to $7. You'll find this in Jeskai Fires and more right now in the format. Also has been seeing some Pioneer Brawl and Commander play. Number five is Dranith Magistrate. This goes down 93 cents to $265. Mono White Loris will play this and some other decks in Standard. This is another card that's seen play in other places, though, too. Pioneer, Commander, Modern, and Legacy. Number four is Fiend Artisan, going down $1.63 to $18. This is in Rakdos Loris and other decks, too, in Standard. Also another card that is showing up in some cases in Pioneer, Brawl, and Commander. Number three, Gyruda, Doom of Depths, goes down $2.17 to $1.99. This is in the Gyruda combo deck, of course, in Standard. Also sees Pioneer, Modern, and Legacy play already. Number two is everybody's favorite card, Luris of the Dream Den. It goes down 265 to 750. So this week we found out that it's getting banned in a few formats. Brawl, Legacy, Vintage. Actually banned in Vintage, not just restricted. Maybe not too surprising, though, considering how powerful this card is. I think more people were surprised that it wasn't banned in other formats. Right now it's still legal and standard, Pioneer, Modern. Especially in Modern, it can be a very powerful card there. So... We'll have to see long term what happens with this card. Potentially it's going to be banned in other places. But right now in standard it's in Jeskai Cycling, Rakdos, Luris, and more. And of course, like I said, it's in Pioneer and Modern too. Number one is Breeding Pool. This is the one from Dissension, the original. It goes down 298 to 3110. This is just normalizing down now off a pretty high price point. This is in Bant Ram, Teamer Reclamation, more in the standard format. And of course, like all the Shocklands, this sees play in Pioneer and Modern too. All right, not your top six standard legal cards that have gained value this week. Number six, moving up more because of Commander than Standard, is Divine Visitation going up $220 to $15. You'll find this in Alila Artful Provocateur builds and more. Number five is Thousand Year Storm, another card moving because of Commander, and that is going to be a theme throughout this video. The cards that are moving the most right now are really moving because of Commander more than anything. We've seen that over the last few weeks now. This one goes up $237 to $805. And you'll find this seeing more play now in Commander with Calamax the Stormsire around. Number four is Sacred Foundry. This is the one from Gate Crash. It goes up 286 to 1489. You'll find this in Jeskai Luris and Fires Builds and Standard. Also in Jeskai Cycling, Winona Midrange and more. And like I said with Breeding Pool, you'll also find this card in Pioneer and Modern too. Number three is the Great Henge. Now this does see Standard play as well. You're going to find this one in Grill Midrange. It goes up 369 this week to 2599. And it does see a lot of Brawl and Commander play, too. Number two is Underrealm Lich. This goes up 420 to 799 and it's another card that is going up more because of Commander than anything. You'll find this many times in Maldrotha builds, but there are new cards that are pushing it currently as well. Nethroi, Apex of Death, and Cathril Aspect Warper. Number one is Finale of Devastation. It goes up 421 to 2247. This is in Teamer Elementals. It's seeing a lot of modern play still in Devoted Devastation. And of course, this is another huge commander card that is seeing more play with Kinnon, Bonder, Prodigy, and Zixara the Exemplary. 
All right, on to your top nine Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. You'll find a number of cards here that are retracting off recent spikes. Number nine is an example of that, Call of Guns Command. Now, this was reprinted in Mystery Boosters as well, another reason it's been soft. It goes down 63 cents to $12. You'll find this in Jund and more decks in the format. Sees a lot of modern play still, too. Luris John, Luris Death Shadow, and more there. And it sees legacy play as well. Number eight is Angrath the Flame Chain. This card, again, was moving up recently. It does retract a little bit, down 65 cents to $6.99. Sees a little bit of commander play and aggressive builds. Number seven is Render Silent. Now, this is the copy that you're going to find in the Ravnica Allegiance Azorius Guild Kit, so it's a little harder to find. It goes down 69 cents this week to $3.69, again, after it has been strong for a little bit. This does see a little commander play, but not doing a ton right now in the Pioneer format. Number six is a card that also sees a little commander play. Not doing a whole lot in Pioneer either, though. Liliana of the Dark Realms. This is the one from Magic 2014. It goes down 72 cents to 11.94. Number five is Jace Vren's Prodigy. Very solid card that has been spiking recently. Of course, this is from Magic Origins. It goes down 88 cents to 35.95. You'll find this in Demir Inverter, Salt Eye Delirium. And this also does see a little vintage play as well. Number four, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, a card that has been very hot in recent weeks. We've seen it climbing for a few weeks in a row. It goes down, though, this week, $1.30 to $62.99. Now, maybe people are anticipating this could be reprinted in the upcoming Double Masters. Maybe it will be, but I think this is more just retraction off some of the big jumps it's seen recently. You'll find this in Lotus Breach and Modern. It's in Tron Builds. It's also another big commander card. Number three is the Locust God. Now, this is the one from Commander 2020, the new reprint, finding its price point. It goes down $1.10 to $7.98. And this is a very popular Commander card, and it's seeing a lot of play with other new cards like Gabby Nest Warden, Z-Riz the Writhing Storm, Brawlin and Shabraz, and Rael the Everwise. Number two is the Battle Royale copy of Llanowar Elves, going down $1.41 this week to $1.59. Just kind of a market anomaly, but I thought I'd throw it in there. And number one is Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, the one from Planar Cast. It goes down 247 to 2358. And this is another card that has been spiking recently and still sees play in the Pioneer format. Demir Inverter, Hardened Constrictor, also another big commander card as well. This is great with Cabal Coffers, which we'll see later. All right, time for the top six Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. And yet again, a lot of these are moving because of Commander. Number six is Primal Amulet going up 360 to 1074, and this is seeing more commander play now with a new card, Calamax the Storm Sire. Number five is everybody's favorite commander card, Cyclonic Rift. Modern Masters 2017 goes up 363 to $40.78. Commander 2014 goes up 425 to $42.92. Return to Ravnica goes up 442 to $39.97. So this does see a tad bit of modern play, sometimes in Mono Blue Tron builds. However, this is one of the biggest commander cards that's out there. Number four, Afara God of the Polis. This goes up 560 to 1071. This is the one from Born of the Gods. Now, this recently got reprinted in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers, but that's not holding it back, as you can see here. It's a very popular commander and has seen some increased play with Gavi Nest Warden. Number three, Rise of the Dark Realms. It goes up 619 this week to 2742. Good commander card for graveyard-centric builds, and it is seeing some more play now with Gyruda. Number two, Colonian Hydra. Three copies here. Magic 2014 up 212 to 1450. Commander Anthology Volume 2 up 519 to $20.44. Commander 2016 up 691 to 1999. So you're going to see a lot of Hydras going up in value now because, again, a new card has inspired a lot of people to pick them up for Commander. In this case, the card is Exara the Exemplary. And number one is the Comet Primal Calamity. goes up 915 to 3949, another very popular commander card, very popular commander. You can play this just in a fair way in dinosaur decks, or you can play a little unfair and try to create some endless loops. This card was featured as one of the commanders in this week's episode of Commander Versus on Star City Games that could have brought a little more attention to it. All right, on to Modern and your top five modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number five is Avacyn Angel of Hope. This is the one from Iconic Masters and has been spiking pretty aggressively recently, so not too surprised to see this. It goes down 295 to 5449. Great commander card for Angel builds or other decks too. Number four is another card that recently increased too. This is Painter's Servant from Shadowmoor. It goes down 377 this week to 3651. This was moving mostly because of Legacy and the Painter's Grindstone build. It did start to gain a little momentum again, but now it is starting to see less play. So it is part of the cycle of the metagame, and that's what you're seeing here. Number three, 
doubling season. Of course, this is going down because we know it's going to be in double masters. Modern Masters goes down three seventy-five to sixty-four dollars. Ravnica City of Guilds down four sixty-seven to sixty-three oh four. Now the Battlebond copy is also going down in value a little bit. It didn't quite make the slide today, but I would expect in the coming weeks that all three of these copies will continue to lose value. Regardless, though, this is a huge commander card and is even seeing more play with some of the new cards. Number two, another card that was announced to be in Double Masters, Blightsteel Colossus getting a reprint. This goes down 756 to 8143. And this has been popular recently too, going up a lot over the last month or so. This is a good card in those big mana decks that have been driven a little bit by Kin and Bonder Prodigy. And number one, the card that spiked super aggressively last week, it's Vexing Shusher. This goes down 1707 to 2172. Like I said last week, this is a decent competitive commander card. There's been a little buzz around it for a while, and then the card started to dry up, being a Shadow more rare. And when folks noticed that, there was a lot of chatter on message boards, and copies just disappeared. But what happens many times when a card like this sells out, turns out a lot of people have them in their closets and their binders at home. They get online, they start trading and selling the card. Stores that might have them in inventory but didn't bother to post them online decide this is a good time to do it. And all of a sudden you get more supply injected into the marketplace. All right, on to your top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. And before we look at these cards, again, I want to point out that there's a lot going on in the market. You're going to see huge spikes in this section, huge spikes in the vintage section and in the commander section. The reason for these spikes really comes down to the decrease in supply because you have less sellers selling online right now. Now, when these sellers start to come back, things should start to normalize a little bit, but it might take a while for these cards to really, truly stabilize because of everything that's happened. You have that fear of missing out kicking in. Remember, this all starts off with simple supply and demand. If there's demand on a card and it's in short supply because there's less sellers, the card starts to go up in value. Fear of missing out makes people go ahead and open their wallets and pay more than they normally would have paid. And that, at least for a period of time, can make the card worth more money, technically. But when sellers start coming back and they want to get aggressive about moving product, eventually you'll start to see some kind of normalization occur. But a lot of these cards might not go back down to where they were prior. With that being said, let's see what's happening here. Number five is Cephalid Constable, and this does combo very well in Commander with a new card, Oh Try Me, the Ever Playful. And because of that combination, this card spiked a few weeks back. Then it went back down. Now it's spiking again. Judgment goes up four dollars to nine ninety nine. Tenth edition goes up twelve oh two to nineteen ninety nine. Number four is the latest fetch land to spike. This is Verdant Catacombs, the one from Modern Masters twenty seventeen. It goes up thirteen fifty eight this week to ninety four eighty eight. So we talk about these enemy fetches every week. They're in low supply, more so now than ever. And sure, there's reprints coming, but sometimes people don't want to wait. And we don't know exactly when those reprints are coming, although it sounds like Wizards has reaffirmed that they are going to come out this year. So we know about the Secret Layer Ultimate Edition, which is very expensive and very limited. However, at some point they're going to do another Secret Layer Bundle where you'll randomly get one of the five enemy fetches if you buy the whole bundle. And then aside from that, they promised fetches would be reprinted in another product going to game stores this year. So eventually, I think these prices will be coming down to some degree. But right now, these fetch lands are highly played and they're very hot. This one in particular, you're going to find in Luris Juns and more in the modern format. Number three is Ad Nauseam. It goes up 1856 to 4674. And of course, this is in modern Ad Nauseam decks, which are doing pretty well. This sees play in Legacy and has seen increased commander play recently, ever since Lassa's Oracle came out. That is a card that's a very big competitive commander card. And as a matter of fact, you're seeing more players get involved in that format recently, which means a whole different set of cards have been hot compared to a few months ago. Number two is Training Grounds. Sorry, modern fans. There's just not a whole lot of modern centric cards going up in value right now for the most part to talk about. But this one is going up 2276 to 5624. So this has seen increased commander play again with some newer cards. Kenra 3 Turn King. Kin and Bonder Prodigy, the Locust God reprint even. Also, this is great in Sliver builds, which are always popular and have been more popular too recently because of the reprintings of Sliver Hive Lord and Sliver Overlord. Number one, another Hydra for Commander. Imagine that. It's Primordial Hydra this time. Magic 2012 goes up $17.38 to $30. Magic 2013 goes up $25.20 to $36.49. All right, on to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we look at cards that see play in Vintage, Legacy, 93, 94, Commander, of course, as well, 
or cards that are just popular among collectors. And first thing I want to point out, you're going to see a number of revised dual lands here today. They have been going up in price really over the last 24 hours more than anything. Savannah from Revised on the reserve list goes up 13.14 to 169.82. Mox Diamond from Stronghold, this is on the reserve list, but did get reprinted in foil in front of the Vault Relics before they closed that loophole on the list. It goes up 15.24 to 363.80 this week. This is a great commander card, great legacy card too. Another revised dual land with Underground C on the reserve list. It goes up 16.38 to 499.69. Sylvan Library. Many times you'll find this in Legacy, like Oko Snow Builds. This is also a huge commander card, of course. Legends goes up 205 this week to 11201. Fifth edition up 501 to $63. Fourth edition goes up 615 to 5991. Eternal Masters up 1910 to 6969. Intuition on the reserve list, but dig it a reprinting as a judge promo. It goes up 2130 to 7999. And this does see Legacy play as well as commander play. Tropical Island from Revised on the reserve list. It goes up $24.92 to $395.97. Volcanic Island from Revised on the reserve list going up $26.08 to $439.77. Grim Monolith also on the reserve list. It goes up $30.32 to $299.49. This is seeing a lot of legacy play right now. Zerta Bomberman, Oko Snow, Turbo Guy Ruta. This is also a really big commander card, as you know. And there's some new builds that like this. Builds with commanders such as Zerta Dawnwaker and Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. Lion's Eye Diamond, say it with me now, on the reserve list. It goes up 3641 to 33587. Another card seeing a lot of legacy play. Zerta Bomberman and Nauseam Tendrils, Turbo Guy Ruta. And also this is seeing more commander play with some new cards like Rael the Everwise. And some of the other cards that have come out recently. Remember too, this combos with Wheel of Fortune, Underworld Breach, and Thassa's Oracle and Commander as well. Taiga from Revised on the reserve list that goes up 5501 to 20788. Scrubland on the reserve list. Two copies here I wanted to point out. Revised going up 1671 to 16135. Unlimited going up 8746 to 370. So there are other dual lands, especially for Revised going up in value, but these were just the biggest movers. Last in this section, we have Force Field from Unlimited. Say it with me one more time before we leave this section. It's on the reserve list. It goes up 16760 to 699. Remember, a lot of the movement has to do with depleted supply. In this case, I think it's just a depleted supply situation. But there are some other situations where people are actively trying to manipulate the price in the marketplace. We saw that this week with Black Lotus. I didn't include it in the video, but if you looked at Lotus from Unlimited this week, it's up around $29,000 or something. Obviously, that's not correct. All right, on to the Commander Spotlight. Now, last week I had over 100 cards. This week I think I'm over like 110 or 120. There's a lot of cards here to talk about. So again, I'm going to go really, really quick. Not going to go into all the detail I normally go into. Maybe just give you the highlights, like some of the new cards that are inspiring the movement. But we'll see if my voice can hold out, and let's get going. Rampant Growth from Mystery Boosters up $1 to 189 This is trying to find its price point, but it's a highly played Commander card. Chrome Mox from Eternal Masters up a dollar to $79.94. Not a huge increase here, but just wanted to let you know that this card is maybe finally looking to stabilize. Sees lots of commander play and legacy play too. Birds of Paradise from Ravnica Allegiance World Guild Kit, so a little bit harder to find. This was also recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters, but this copy goes up a dollar oh one to eight fifty nine this week. Sees lots of commander play and modern play too. Oran Frostfang goes up a dollar oh three to six twenty six, seeing more play with Zero's the Writhing Storm around. Najila the Blade Blossom, very popular commander, going up $1.04 to eleven fourteen. Questing Beast up $1.04 to $13.98. Now this one sees standard play and grow mid-range and more, but this is a great mutate target and commander, seeing play with Otriami the Ever Playful, and also Cathral Aspect Warper. The Yur Dragon goes up $1.05 to ten ninety four, only found in foil, recently reprinted in Kaleidoscope Killers, but a very popular dragon commander. Journey to Eternity up $1.08 to $6. This is a good graveyard centric card, and you're going to see a lot of these type of cards moving up this week because of a new card again, Nethroi Apex of Death. Now, aside from that, this card also got a mention in a blog called My Weekly Grind, which was discussing some undervalued commander cards, so that could have brought some attention to it. Spire Garden, another one of these multiplayer lands from Battle Bond going up this week. This is going up $1.13 to 886. Kalia of the Vast from Commander. Okay, we know this is going to be in Double Masters. Why is this going up? It goes up $1.13 to $47.99. The copy that was going up alongside this in Commander Anthology is going down now. 
but this particular copy of the card still inching up a little bit when you look week to week. Although I think by next week's video, this should be losing value as well. This is a very popular commander though for Angel, Dragon, or Demon builds. Mox Opal from Scars of Meriden goes up $1.14 to $55.94 big commander card and also is seeing Legacy play in Zerta Bomberman and more. Croak's a Titan of Death's Hunger, another standard card makes it here, going up $1.18 to $23. And yeah, you will find this in some standard decks like Rakdos, Luris, and more. Also sees Pioneer and Modern play, but it is seeing commander play too. Scytherix the Blight Dragon up $1.19 to $45.99, great commander card, but it's an awesome mutate target, so it is seeing play now with Otrimi the Ever Playful. Nature's Lore. This is the one from Mystery Boosters. Again, trying to find a price point here, but it's a very good commander card. Up $1.20 to $4.25. Alenda the Dusk Rose up $1.20 to $17.80. This is big in Edgar Markov and Tesa Karla builds. And this also interacts well with Mutating Commander. Walking Ballista. This goes up $1.26 to $29.94. Good with some new cards in Commander like Sixara the Exemplary, Kinnenbounder Prodigy, and Pioneer. This sees play in Mono White Devotion, Hardin Constrictor. Also gets modern and legacy play too. Pact of Negation, Future Sight up $1.06 to $34.04. Modern Masters goes up $1.26 to $32. This is seeing more play now in Commander, mostly because of competitive Commander builds, but of course this also sees a lot of modern play. Mana Crypt, the original book giveaway version, goes up $1.26 to $275.73, even though we know it's going to be in Double Masters. Yeah, this one is creeping up again if you look week to week, but I do think it's going to slow down now. The other copies have already begun to go down. Rings of Bright Hearth from Lorwyn goes up $1.29 to $55.31. Classic combo enabler in Commander. Magus of the Moon from Iconic Masters. It goes up $1.34 to $19.25. This is seeing some Commander play in like Torbrand, Thane of Red Fell builds, or Winota Joiner of Forces builds. But I think this is moving mostly because of Modern. You'll find this in Gruel Obosh and other decks in the format. He's Legacy play too. Avenger of Zendikar from Commander 2013 goes up $1.39 to $11.81. Highly played Commander card in lands builds and has seen some more play ever since Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath came out. Gamble goes up $1.41 to $10.99, the one from Ultimate Masters. Tutors are good even with conditions and sometimes the condition can work for you. This does see more play now with Rael the Everwise as well as Brawl and Sky Shark Rider and Shabraz the Sky Shark. Archangel of Thune from Magic 2014. It goes up $1.43 to $25.88. This is seeing some more commander play recently because of Heliod Sun Crown and some of the other life gain cards from Theros Beyond Death. Safi Eric's Daughter. This goes up $1.44 to $7.47. And this is seeing more playing commander now in Nethroi Apex of Death. Gisela the Broken Blade goes up $1.44 to $14. Great in Angel Builds and seeing more play with Catherell Aspect Warper. Anointed Procession, this goes up $1.45 to $24.99. Great card with Reese the Redeemed, which was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Little bit of increased play, too, with a new card, Gabby Nest Warden, but very good in general. Burma's King of Arescos, this goes up $1.47 to $16.69. This is good in Cats builds, but seeing more play now in Commander with Minota, Joiner of Forces. Managorger Hydra from Commander 2016, another Hydra here. We talked about why those are going up. This goes up $1.48 to $6.47. If the Betrays from Rise of the Eldrazi goes up $1.49 to $13.50. We've seen a lot of Eldrazi going up in value recently because they're seeing more play in Commander in these big mana decks. Some of that was inspired originally by Nyx Bloom Ancient. Now you have Kin and Bonder Prodigy heading up some of those decks as well. Thrumming Stone, this goes up $1.50 to $41.99. This has been hot ever since Year of the Rat Secret Lair came out because this fits very well into rat decks with Rat Colony. Aggravated Assault, Explorers of Ixalan goes up $1.22 to $9.73, Onslaught goes up $1.51 to $9.50. This is good in aggressive builds, but seeing more play now with new cards, Halden Avid Arcanist and Paco Arcane Retriever. Kaineo Sentiro of Miletus goes up $1.52 to $13.99, this is only found in foil, it's a great group hug card, and has seen more play since Theros Beyond Death came out. Talisman of Progress, this goes up $1.53 to $9.51, great just generally in Commander. Lotus Cobra from Zendikar goes up $1.53 to $14. Another great card, especially in lands builds and commander. The Immortal Sun goes up $1.53 to $19.28. Again, just a solid card. He's a little pioneer play too. Teferi's Protection, one of the great white cards in commander. This is the one from Commander 2017. It goes up $1.53 to $42.81. Gishath Sun's Avatar, very popular dinosaur commander. It goes up $1.57 to $12.99. And two, Ultimate Masters up $1.35 to $12.09, Eternal Masters up $1.59 to $11.92, seeing more play with Nethroi Apex of Death. 
Gaius Cradle from Urza Saga on the reserve list, but did get a reprinting as a Judge Foil. This goes up $1.60 to $544.99. Not a big increase here, but again, I wanted to show you that it is stabilizing, perhaps. Maybe it will start going down a little bit. Now, this is a great commander card, obviously, just on its own, but it is seeing some more play with Kin and Bonder Prodigy in those builds. But also, this is good with Reese the Redeemed, which was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters, and this does see legacy play in decks like Elves. Needle Spectre, another great mutate target here. It goes up $1.64 to $10.13. This card got hot being an Eventide Rare that is yet to see a reprint. We know, I'll use my one per video quickly here. During that time period in Magic, there was a recession in the game. Less packs were cracked. Because of that, when people pay attention to some of these rares, they do tend to spike. Verge Rangers from Commander 2020. This is a new white card that's very solid, going up $1.66 to $7. Freed from the real, you got a couple copies here. Saviors of Kamigawa up $1.16 to $3.98. Masters 25 up $1.77 to $3.79. This combo is with Zixara the Exemplary, but it also sees play in like the Kin and Bonder Prodigy builds. Narset's Reversal up $1.78 to $6.49. Highly played commander card, seeing more play now in Calamex the Stormsire builds. Ravo Soul Tender, only found in foil, goes up $1.79 to $15.99. These partner commanders from Commander 2016 are red hot right now. You're going to see more of them later. Cathar's Crusade, two copies to talk about here. Commander 2014 up $1.12 to $7.13. Commander Anthology Volume 2 up $1.81 to $8.78. This is another card seeing more play with Winota, Joiner of Forces. Reanimate, Ultimate Masters goes up $1.45 to $12.44. Arch Enemy goes up $1.88 to $14.97. This is seeing more playing Commander again with Nethroi, Apex of Death, but also in Cathril Aspect Warper builds. Phyrexian Tower from Ultimate Masters up $1.90 to $14.87. Very popular Commander card. This is good in Corvold Fakers King builds, for example. Astral Slide up $1.93 to $5.50, seeing more play now with Gabby Nest Warden. Okagachi Vengeful Kami. This is only found in foil, going up $1.97 to $5.49. Very popular Commander, but many times you'll also find this in the Ur Dragon builds. Darksteel Plate, the one from Dual Decks Elves vs. Inventors. This goes up $1.98 to $12.03. This has seen more play recently in Commander with Torbrand Thane of Red Fell and Sir Gwen Hero of Ashvale. Sword of Light and Shadow from Darksteel up $1.98 to $42.51. This is seeing some more play in Commander because of a card that came out not too long ago, Sir Gwen Hero of Ashvale. Also see some modern play too. Agent of Treachery, here's another standard card. It goes up $1.99 to $12.07, mostly moving because of standard shirt. This is in Jeskai Luka, Bant Ramp, and more. Also see some Pioneer play. But in Commander, many times you'll find this in Yurok the Desecrated builds and other places too. Damnation, great board sweep for Commander, sees a ton of play. Planar Chaos, up $1.36 to $33.35. Modern Masters 2017, up $201 to $34.81. Toothy Imaginary Friend, up $202 to $7. This is seeing some increased play again due to some new cards like Gavin Nest Warden and others as well. Doubling Cube from 10th edition, up 202 to 2386. This is seeing more play with Zexara the Exemplary. Green Sun Zenith, another card that's good in those big mana decks, sometimes headed up by Kin and Bonder Prodigy nowadays. This is also in Legacy Elves. Mirrod and Besiege goes up $1.91 to 1274. Eternal Master is up 203 to 1252. Blasphemous Act, this is the one from Commander 2016. It goes up 209 to 743. Highly played Commander card. Sword of Truth and Justice, this goes up 215 to 1948 this week. This is good in Kelsey and the Plague builds. Cabal Coffers, as promised, very popular commander card here. Plays well with Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. This is the one from Torment, going up 218 to 6150. Twin Cast, 10th edition, up 158 to 678. Magic 2010, up 219 to 597. And this is seeing more play now because of Kelamax the Storm Sire. Soul Ring, the one from Commander, so randomly one copy of Soul Ring going up. It goes up $2.19 to $7.81. Obviously, it's a Commander staple, but this particular one dried up. Nezahal Primal Tide, this goes up $2.21 to $6.50, and this is seeing some increased play in those Kin and Bonder Prodigy builds as well. Hammer of Nizan, going up $2.22 to $24.95, good and aggressive Commander decks. Demonic Tutor, fantastic Tutor. As you know, those competitive decks especially need these tutors, and this is a great one. Revised goes up 203 to 3709. Dual decks Divine vs. Demonic goes up 222 to 4121. This was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters as well, but even so, these copies are climbing. Austere Command, the one from Iconic Masters, goes up 226 to 1248. Another very good commander card in white. 
Kindred Discovery, this is awesome for tribal builds. It goes up $226 to $23. Bloom Tender from Mystery Boosters, it goes up $234 to $3323. Again, trying to find its price point, but fantastic in multiple types of Commander decks. Skullbriar, The Walking Grave, the one from Commander, goes up $236 to $1599. This card was hot. It cooled off for a little while. It is a popular Commander and is seeing more play with Cathrill Aspect Warper. Arachno Genesis up 240 to 2151. Awesome in spider builds, but just a good combat trick in general. Ancient Tomb, very popular commander card, obviously. The one from Tempest is going up 243 to 4597. This also sees legacy and vintage play. Omniscience from Magic 2019 goes up 245 to 1777. Seeing a little more play right now with the Luna Apex of Wishes out there. Overall, though, popular commander card in general. In Legacy, this sees play in Sneak and Show and Omnitel builds. Dark Confidant. Now, this is a great modern card. You'll find this in like Luris, Jund, and more. It's great in Legacy, great in Vintage. But now with more people playing Competitive Commander, this is feeling more like a Commander card. Modern Masters goes up 233 to 5206. Modern Masters 2015 up 243 to $50.84. Ravnica City of Guilds goes up 248 to 5225. Sarah's Sanctum on the reserve list. It goes up 250 to $111.76. This is good in heavy enchantment builds, and of course, those have been more popular since Saros Band Death came out. Razaketh the Foul Blooded up 252 to 1983, highly played commander card. Linvala, Keeper of Silence from Rise of the Eldrazi up 257 to 2726. Great in angel builds, but also good in other builds too. Food Chain up 261 to 6730, classic commander card, and this combos with the first sliver and Squee the Immortal. Recruiter of the Guard up 262 to $20.45. This is from Conspiracy Take the Crown, recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters, but still going up in value because it's a very solid commander card. This has seen more play recently with Winota Joiner of Forces. Survival of the Fittest from Exodus on the reserve list, but did get printed as a judge foil. It goes up 265 to 12497. This is in vintage survival decks, of course, but seeing more commander play now in Nethroi Apex of Death. Jenga Texius Core Augur New Phyrexia up a dollar thirty to fourteen forty seven. Iconic Masters up two sixty eight to sixteen ninety. And this is getting more play in Kin and Bonder Prodigy builds right now. Protean Hulk from the Ravnica Allegiance Gruel Guild Kit. It goes up two seventy three to fourteen nineteen. And this many times is found in Marin builds, but this is seeing more play now because of Nethroi Apex of Death as well. Elhamarit's Archive, this is the one from Mystery Boosters. It goes up 274 to 1654, seeing some more play with Gabby Nest Warden. Wheel of Fortune from Revised on the reserve list, but did get a reprinting as a Judge Foil. It goes up 276 to 18344. Now, this is a great commander card, but it is seeing more play with some of the new cards, things like Zira's the Writhing Storm, Rael the Everwise, Brawlin Sky Shark Rider, and Shabraz the Sky Shark, and more. Also, like I said earlier, this combos with Lion's Eye Diamond, Underworld Breach, and Thassa's Oracle. Ramos Dragon Engine, only found in foil, up 277 to 2299. Very popular commander, also found in the Ur Dragon builds too. Cavern of Souls, this is a highly played commander card, good in modern and legacy as well, though. Ultimate Masters goes up 220 to 6474. Everson restored up 284 to $65. Kozilek Butcher of Truth, so another Eldrazi going up in value. Rise of the Eldrazi goes up $1.23 to 5699. Modern Masters 2015 up $1.90 to $49.88. Ultimate Masters up $2.87 to $50.83. Deadly Rollick, another new card here, but a very good Commander card from Commander 2020. It goes up $2.93 to $14.99. Burgeoning, the one from Commander 2016. It goes up $2.93 to $17.92. And this is great in lands builds, but just a good card in general. Shouldred Whispering One, again moving because of Nethroi Apex of Death. New Phyrexia goes up $1.71 to $25. Iconic Masters up $2.95 to $29.99. But again, another card that's just good in general. Force of Negation. You see this in Modern. You see it in Legacy and Vintage even. But now, again, you're seeing it creep into Commander more and more with Competitive Commander especially. This goes up $2.97 to $44.95. Complicate. This goes up $303 to $375. Obviously, Cycling Decks are popular right now. A lot of people are putting this in their Gabby Nest Warden builds. Sensei's Divining Top, the one from Champions of Kamigawa, going up 304 to 4746. This card is just always good. It's a huge commander card, but it's seeing more play now even because of some new cards like Winona Joiner of Forces and Genesis Ultimatum. This is a good vintage card as well. Ristic Study, huge commander card. You see this all the time. Mystery Boosters goes up 266 to 2809. Prophecy up 311 to 2771. Staff of Domination, this goes up 312 to 5549. 
And this is a great card that can be a combo enabler, or it can just be something to do if you create a combo with endless mana. You can just kind of filter your mana through this. Very popular commander card, and again, many times you'll find these in Kinnon builds. Sylvan Tutor from Portal, another tutor here. This goes up 316 to 8490. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre, another big Eldrazi Titan, Rise of the Eldrazi, up $1.63 to $40.04. Modern Masters 2015, up $2.98 to $39.95. Ultimate Masters goes up $3.30 to $39.99. Basalt Monolith, this card has been super hot because of Zerda and Kinnon recently, but it's a huge commander card in general. She's so Legacy Play 2. Revised goes up $1.35 to $6.25. Commander 2013, up $1.90 to $8.43. Commander Anthology, up $3.34 to $9.88. Crater Hoof Behemoth, this has been red hot. Again, you have those big mana decks that are seeing a lot of play with Kinnon. Also good with Zira's The Writhing Storm. And also a great card to play with the newly reprinted Reese the Redeemed. Avacyn Restored goes up 236 to 6499. Modern Masters 2017 up 356 to 6397. Greater Good, another really solid card in general, but another card seeing more play because of Nethroi Apex of Death. Battle Bond goes up $1.39 to 646. Urza Saga up $1.67 to 719. Ninth Edition goes up 357 to 988. Gemstone Caverns. This sees a lot of commander play. Also modern and legacy play. It goes up 374 to 2915. Lifeblood Hydra from Commander 2014. Another Hydra for you. This goes up 383 to 999. Power Artifact on the reserve list goes up 390 to 189.99. This is an Urza Builds and many others. Chain of Vapor from Commander 2016 goes up $4 to $10.24. Seeing more play because of Kinnon builds, but again, just in general, a great card. Vorinclax, Voice of Hunger, Iconic Masters up $317 to $27.95. New Phyrexia up $409 to $30. Great and big mana decks like Kinnon, but again, a card that just is good on its own sometimes. Here's another card that plays with Nethroi, Apex of Death, and some other new cards too. This is Fauna Shaman. Ultimate Masters up $280 to $11.09. Magic 2011 up 415 to 1050. Ludwig Necrol Alchemist, only found in foil, goes up 421 to 1499. This is seeing increased play with Zero's The Writhing Storm. And it's another one of those very popular partner commanders. Another tutor, it's Mystical Tutor from Mirage up 436 to $20.49. Berserk from Conspiracy Take the Crown goes up 456 to 2237. This is seeing more play with Calamex the Storm Sire, but this is also seeing some legacy play too. Maelstrom Wanderer, two copies to talk about this week. Eternal Masters up 451 to 1999. Plane Chase Anthology going up 468 also to 1999. Another very popular commander and does see more play with a Luna Apex of Wishes. Seedborn Muse from Commander 2019, another fantastic card that works well in a number of new builds. Things like Kinnon Bonder Prodigy, Calamax the Storm Sire, Zexera the Exemplary. This copy goes up 471 to 1229. Kaidel, Chosen of Crewfix, another foil only partner commander from Commander 2016. This goes up 472 to 1276. Akiri Line Slinger, another very popular partner commander, great and aggressive builds, and only in foil. It goes up 483 to 991. Sliver Legion from Future Sight, it wouldn't be a market watch if this card wasn't going up, I guess. It goes up 492 to 11379. And again, Sliver decks and commander have been popular since the reprinting of Sliver Hive Lord and Sliver Overlord recently. Dockside Extortionist, fantastic card in general in Commander, but combos with things like Cloudstone Curio. This goes up 496 to 3174. Thought Lash, this is on the reserve list. It goes up 580 to 1534. This is good with Thassa's Oracle. And there was a lot of message board chatter about this card drying up this week, which could have pushed some more people to buy it. Pemmin's Aura, you'll find this many times in Kinnon builds, but this also combos obviously with Zixar the Exemplary. That's probably the main reason it's going up. Up 582 to 1881. Riku of Two Reflections from Commander goes up 582 to 3570. Another very popular commander and does see more play with Calamax the Storm Sire around. Null Rod, this goes up 655 to 3973 on the reserve list. Sees a little commander play, but this also sees some legacy and vintage play too. Hermit Druid, another card that's seeing more play with Nethroi Apex of Death. It goes up 662 to $20.69. Counterbalance up 679 to 2550. This is in Modern Miracles, and that deck is maybe starting to catch on a little bit. We'll have to kind of see what happens. Also sees play in Legacy, but of course this has been showing up in some Commander builds as well. I think some folks just wanted to pick this up just in case Luris got a little out of control. If you know your opponent's playing a Luris deck, it's a little bit easier to guess what you need to keep on top of your library. 
Exquisite Blood. This combos with Sanguine Bond. It goes up 690 to 5373 this week. Enlightened Tutor, another tutor here. The original copy for Mirage goes up 797 to 4249. Consecrated Sphinx. This, of course, is seeing more play again with Zero's The Writhing Storm and some other new cards, and also the Locust God Reprint. Merit and Besiege goes up 239 to 3797. Iconic Masters up 809 to 3899. Angel's Grace from Time Spiral, seeing more play since Thassa's Oracle has been in the Commander format. Also sees modern play. It goes up 814 to $26. Vampiric Tutor, yet another tutor. Eternal Masters goes up $1.47 to $110.39. Visions up $889 this week to $113.99. Land Tax, another highly played solid card in white for Commander. Battle Bond up $1.46 to $39.86. Fourth edition goes up eight ninety three to forty dollars and fifty five cents. Battle Royale up nine dollars to fifty dollars and twenty two cents. Phyrexian Altar from Invasion. This combos with Luminous Broodmoth and Solemnity. Good in Zero is the Writhing Storm builds as well, but great card in general too. Up nine forty to forty seven forty nine. Exploration great in lands decks. Also just generally good. So he's playing Legacy Lands too. Conspiracy goes up five thirty six to forty dollars and ninety seven cents. There's a Saga up nine sixty seven to forty eight ninety nine. City of Brass, another big mana base card, also sees modern and legacy play. Chronicles up $1.50 to $15. Eighth edition up $2.58 to $14.54. Fifth edition goes up $9.75 to $19.75. Force of Will, big commander card, big vintage card, big legacy card. Eternal Masters up $8.77 to $139.50. Alliances up $9.86 to $115.99. Necropotence, this sees a lot of play in Carrick Son of Yawgmoth builds and other places. He's vintage play too. Eternal Masters up 355 to 2739. Ice Age up 380 to 30 dollars. Fifth edition up 1005 to 2999. Mana Reflection. It's a Shadow More rare. It goes up 1054 to 5998. And this is great in big mana decks like Kinnon. Vidalkin Orrery, another just huge commander card. Conspiracy goes up 613 to 40 dollars and 95 cents. Fifth Dawn up 1062 to 46 dollars. Rayhan, last of the Obzon, only found in foil. Commander 2016 up 972 to 1650. Commander Anthology Volume 2 up 1101 to 1750. Another partner commander taking off, not too surprising at this point. This has been seeing more play with Zixara the Exemplary too. Mana Vault, this is good in like big mana decks, but again, just good in general. Also a good vintage card. Revised goes up 930 to 5899. Fourth edition up 1108 to 5598. Cardor, Ghost Chieftain from Commander. This goes up 1110 to 2699. Very popular Commander. And another card seeing more play with Nethrite Apex of Death around. Primal Vigor. This goes up 1120 to 3647. And this is another just generally good card, but has seen more play with Zixara the Exemplary. And with that, Reese the Redeemed reprinting. Another card for Nethroi here. This is Micaeus the Unhallowed from Dark Ascension. This goes up 1193 to 3998. Yawgmoth's Will from Urza's Saga. This is on the reserve list, but Diggity reprinting as a Judge Foil. It goes up 1251 to 103.98. And this is seeing play in a lot of competitive commander decks and vintage too. Scroll Rack from Tempest. This goes up 1317 to 87.77. Huge commander card, but again, seeing more play because of things like Winona Joiner of Forces and Genesis Ultimatum. Winds of Change, another good card with Zira's The Writhing Storm or Shabra's The Sky Shark or also that Locust God reprint. Legends goes up 549 to 3499. Fourth edition up 889 to 2774. Fifth edition up $14 to 3499. Orem's Chant from Plane Shift. This sees a little commander play, but it goes up 1431 as it dries up this week to 2995. Sliver Queen. This is the Sliver Lord that is on the reserve list. It goes up 1870 to $170. Transmute Artifact on the reserve list. Classic commander card. It goes up 2026 to 19025. Time Spiral on the reserve list goes up 2467 to 9748 this week. Wow. Again, a card seeing more play because of some of the cards we just mentioned. Zero's the Writhing Storm, Shabra's the Sky Shark, and the Lotus God Reprint. Another tutor with Worldly Tutor. Now, this was the target of some massive market manipulation in the middle of the week. Since then, things have stabilized and calmed down, but these prices are still pretty extreme. Mirage goes up 2795 to 5899. Sixth edition goes up thirty-two forty-two to sixty-nine forty-nine. All right, on to the pauper spotlight again. We get to look at some cards I can afford. Well wisher from Mystery Boosters. This is only going up ten cents to seventy cents. That's what I like to see. So this is in pauper elves decks as well as commander elves builds. Preordain from Commander twenty fifteen goes up eleven cents to four seventeen. This is in Scred Fairies, Delver Fairies, Demir Control. 
but also sees Commander Legacy and Vintage play too. Shield Sphere. This goes up 12 cents to 314. This sees a little popper play sometimes in Simic Ramp builds. This does see some Commander play too at times, for example in like Arcades the Strategist builds. Bajukabog. This is a popular popper, modern, legacy, and commander card. A couple copies moving. Commander 2014 up 10 cents to 219. Mystery Booster goes up 15 cents to 172. Relic of Progenitus, this is the one from Eternal Masters. It goes up 15 cents to 219. So this sees sideboard play not only a popper, but also modern and legacy. Utopia Sprawl, Masters 25 up 10 cents to 399. Dissension up 17 cents to 383. This is in hexproof builds and popper. Also, sometimes you find this in modern girl Obosh. And it sees a lot of commander play too. Snap, this is the one for Mystery Boosters, going up 21 cents to 165. This is in Delver Fairies, Mono Blue Control, Azorius Familiar, Azorius Flicker, sees Commander play too. In fact, even more play with Calamax to Stormsire now. And of course, we have the Black Lotus of Popper at Zubliat. The Arabian Nights B variation, which is the easier to read one if you're looking at the casting cost, it goes up $1.01 to 2872. Arabian Nights, the A version, the one you see on the screen, goes up 346 to 2850, so they're pretty close in price. This gets played in Mono Black Control, and we've been promised a reprint, so at some point it will happen. All right, it's time for that premium spotlight and time for my quick disclaimer. I don't like to spend too much time on rare promos or foils just because, especially right now, the market the way it is, sometimes it really is hard to find good data online. If there's not enough cards for sale, you can't really wrap your head around sometimes what the card is truly worth, especially if not a lot of people are buying them. Also, too, in a lean market, cards can be easily manipulated, but I like to pick out a few cards that feel like they're at least sort of moving naturally with the market. This week I went with four. They're all cards we've already talked about. The first one is Ad Nauseam. This is the foil copy going up 1777 to 12301. Grim Monolith, the foil copy of this one, goes up $43 to $860. Foil copy of Training Grounds going up $47 to $95 this week. And finally, Scroll Rack has a couple foils moving. The Kaladesh Inventions copy goes up $1085 to $190. Commander's Arsenal variation goes up $76.79 to $157.42. All right, well, if you stuck with me, thanks a lot. I don't think my voice is going to stick with me much longer, so I'm going to sign out. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.